Hey, what's going on everybody? I am Corey Pratt and you are watching Crazy Cars and we're out here at the very first Riggs and Roast, uh, I guess Riggs and Roast kickoff event here for 2024 here at 511 Tactical in Independence, Missouri. Let's take a look around and show you a little bit of what showed up. And uh, if you're interested in coming out to another Riggs and Roast, we will have more this year. And a matter of fact, we're gonna try to do other events uh, that have to do with more of the overlanding adventure camping kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, come along, join. Thanks for being here. Like, share, and subscribe as well. And uh, here, let's go. You know, one of the things I actually really like of all the rigs and roasts we do, <clears throat> so we got people to come back. So, so this one here um, has been here before, but the first time it came, it actually had some uh, some damage that was getting repaired on. So a lot of stuff was was been, had been taken off. Uh, he got some new things in, but now he's back at another rigs and roast, and he's got additions on it. Um, with, with everything, he's got all of his lights on it now, his wheels and his tires and stuff on it. He's got his, uh, let's just take a closer look. Let's come on up over here. Um, he's got his 270 on in here, check this out. So it's like all the way around. I think that's 270 degrees, isn't it? But it's very nice. He's got his tailgate um, table up, which those are very important. I think everybody should have those and I think most people tend to and then He's got his rooftop tent with his rack on there. Um, I don't think he had his rack up here either. So he's got this nice clean rack. I like that. And then of course his tent right there. It's a good looking tent. Goes really well with this, uh, with this color scheme wise. I love the orange accents on it. It's awesome stuff. All, all the lights in his right there. And uh, this is cool too, the cold air intake. A little bit of the performance side of things. We'll go from a two door to a four door now. And then, uh, and it's kind of neat here. So he's got his, his rack, different rack. Um, they have a bed system, they don't have a setup now, but they have a bed system where they sleep in here because, the, and then they have that table flipped down and then they have their, their awning, they come up and then they said they have like a, like a wall let in which that's always kind of neat too. Looks like they got some side steps right there. Really nice, I like seeing progression on things. It's very cool. Bumper's pretty, pretty hoss, winch. There you go, you got your uh, bigger size. Broncos don't look as big next to something like this. But yeah, this one's all, all rigged up too. And look at that, already packed out for a nice weekend camp trip. Won't get in everything. He's got a little power uh, lithium battery in it. Uh, he's got powerless in the back. He's got a slide out fridge and uh, you know, containers and all the, all the stuff you need for a wonderful camping weekend. Can't wait to see some stuff done to this right here. Um, I've always loved these Xterras. I wish Nissan would bring these back. Um, they were always, for their time, uh, very aggressive and maybe in a market that wasn't as big as it is now. So I think I think they could really benefit now, but I've always loved them. I mean, the bars and all the stuff the way it comes is all factory, but I don't see many of these um, on the trails and things, but it would be cool to, to see them all. I, I think these would be really good. Let's move on along the road. We got some Toyotas today. And a good various number of Toyotas. We got a good good following Toyota people here in Kansas City. It's awesome. You have to wave for the camera. There you go. <laughs> there we go. How's Burnout's mobile detailing doing? Look at that. You just need some uh, detailing right there. You can call these guys right there. There's a the number. All right. But this thing just looks cooler and cooler every time I see it. He's got, he's got his tent. He's got 
some things. I think he's had some of that stuff already on it. Here we go. Got a nice lifted. Boy, that's a that's a nice lift. Those are big tires on that. And that's not a Toyota, but still equally cool to my eyes. Yeah, Grand Cherokee. I've known a, a good handful of people over the years that's had that's had these and offered the crap out of them. Most of them seem to do it with the Laredo versions with the with the four liters in them, but yeah, but very cool. We've got Richline Motorsports for, thank you for, I guess, bringing out this huge, huge, I know this isn't really the overlanding off-road rig thing, but it just kind of fits the bill at 511 Tactical here. And, uh, and this is really just interesting to look at all the details on this thing. It's, it's unreal. It's just unreal. Crazy. All right. And with that said, looking very military-esque. There we go. Well. We got we got Jeeps here, of course. Here's a here's a nice Commander, and of course, a uh, Hummer. It, it's because this is straight military here. Um, there we go. Look at the inside. Uh, I'll do my best to cover the whole thing because it's 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 fairly large in here. <laughs> Take a look at that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's a Hummer, all right. Let's come over and look at this. <laughs> I got, I got real lucky on that. So I originally bought it to kind of hang. It kind of makes the Hummer look really short. Parked next to this Jeep. This is massive. And it's very cool. You got your little storage on here. And of course, it's, this is just straight up. Not much of this is probably Jeep anymore. But that's okay. Let's push it to V8. Some, some people, and go Cherokee. Still a big fan of the Cherokees. Old school. Really like them. I just kind of like the boxiness of them too. They're just pretty good. Very simple. Very capable. Give away some hats. And uh, we're just going to do a random uh generated number thing that everybody's signed in everybody's got a number on here and we'll just go from there and i hope i can read your writing that's all i know I'm out. all right yeah get out of here. you're going to get all right generate number one let's do oh number two um get gabriel gabriel you want a hat i'll have another one how about that? You get to choose, actually. Do you want a green one or a gray one? Here. Let's keep, let's keep going. Let's keep going. There you go. Let's keep going. All right, we've got Brandon with a 2000 Toyota. Pick a hat. I drive that. <clears throat> You're like, well, oh, I'll claim it before the guy really claims it, right? All right, I got Jim, the CJ. Hey. Good job, Jim. I just want to judge you. I'll let you pick anything on the table as long as it's a hat. I'll take that. All right. No. I've got. Is that Austin with the 06 Silverado? Is there a Silverado here? Is he here? Maybe he's inside. Okay, well. Oh, is that you with the Silverado? Oh, you must not heard me. You get to win something really special. It's a hat. You can, you can pick. You can pick which one. 
That's a good choice. That's a good choice. I got Lonnie. Lonnie won a hat. And you, and you can still get to choose. It's going down to the wire, isn't it? Right on. Thank you. And for the grand prize of a hat, I got Paul. Where's Paul? Ah. There you go, my man. It's custom just, just for you. Sweet. Your name is 5 and 11, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming. And thank everybody for coming. Really appreciate it. We're trying to grow this as best we can. And uh, if you guys ever want to give any suggestions for us, uh, cravencars at gmail.com. Just you can email any suggestions or maybe some event um, things that you might want to see. We thought about doing maybe some camp out stuff or maybe a little cookout things. And, uh, and we just kind of go from there. And then we'll still have some morning stuff every so often and, uh, and do what we can. We'll probably change locations here and there, but that's about it. And uh, appreciate everybody showing up today. And thank God it's not 30 degrees. Take advantage so. of your discounts inside, yeah. please. Yeah, yeah. if you uh, want some awesome tactical gear, the time to get it is when it's the cheapest. So there you go.